Hello and welcome to this demonstration on how to get a Microsoft Word document or in fact other um, application documents out onto a PlayStation Portable as an ebook. To begin with here you can see that I have got a Word document. This one is produced by Scargill Junior School. These are some uh, stories that they put together themselves. I just scroll down. You can see those there. So this is a normal Word document. The page breaks have been considered and you can see here that the title starts at the beginning of each page. What I'm going to do to begin with is make this into a PDF file, an Adobe PDF. To do that I have an application called uh, Macromedia Flash Paper. So I'm going to go File, Print, and if I select my printer here as Macromedia Flash Paper and go OK, this starts Macromedia Flash Paper and effectively prints to a PDF document. So you can hear it's progressing page 6, 8, 9 and 12. So here is my PDF. I can save this as a flash file or as a PDF and I'm going to save this as a PDF file. So save as PDF and I've got a folder here already called Scargill Junior School so I am now going to just delete that out and call it ebook goblins and save. So that has now been saved as a PDF file. I'm going to close this one down. In my folder you can see I've got something called ebook goblins what I want to do now is convert that into effectively having one um, JPEG per uh, page. So I have a program here which is called Intra PDF. And if I start that one going, what this does is it will convert my PDF document into having one image per page of the PDF document. So I've se selected here my Scargill Junior School eBooks document and go start and you can see this is doing the conversion and that's done. Right, I'll close my application. If we now look back in the Scargill uh, folder you can see that I have a number of JPEGs here. I'm just going to create a subfolder which is called eBook Goblins There we go, and I'm going to highlight all of my JPEGs here and drag them um, into ebook, into this folder, subfolder. Okay, so if you look in here now, and let's just do them by details to make sure they're all numbered, yes, 1 to 12. And if we preview these now, this is just in the Windows Picture and Facts Viewer, you can see that I actually have a JPEG for each page of my Word document. Okay, and we'll close that out of there. Okay, so now that I've created each of the images and the folder, let's now put this across onto the PlayStation Portable. I have got my PSP attached to my PC, as you can see here by the picture inside the screen in USB mode. If we look at the computer screen now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy eBook Goblins, copy, and if I switch to my PlayStation Portable, which has been attached by the USB cable, and I navigate to PSP, Photo, and in here you can see another of um, other folders containing images and go right hand mouse button and paste. Just a small note to say that the file structure on every PSP should be root directory here, PSP, photo and then the folders and ebook goblins in there. Okay so I'm going to close that one and actually I'm going to bring back up the Word document on this P on this PC so you can see my t first two pages there. Okay on the the PSP 
what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come out of USB mode and go into photo and down to my memory stick and select that one and if we look here you will see that the second one down says ebook I will make this bigger in a moment and let's have a look at the first image so you can see the first page there on the PSP as I scroll up and down it on the right with the Word document there on the left. Okay, now let's switch across to the PSP. So you're now seeing the ebook folder on the PlayStation Portable. If I click on, if I use the arrow keys on the left hand side, I can go up and down through the pages and I could navigate to a certain page. Or if we start with the first one, I'm going to click on my cross button to start that one off and then I use the analog stick, that's the knurl button on the left hand side to go up and down the page. I'm now going to use the shoulder button which is the top right hand clear button to go to the next page and you can see there there's our diagram if I scroll up and down a little bit I can actually by crossing on the square button and pushing the analog stick up I can actually zoom in a bit closer and then using the analog stick I can move around so you can see I've gone in quite just give that a moment just refresh itself so we've gone in quite detailed let's go back out and onto the next page and you can see here the text in the document is quite readable at this re resolution and our student could just simply scroll down the page as they are reading it and then press the right or left shoulder key to go onto the next one. There's a picture and if we scroll again to, to zoom in press on the square key and we can zoom in and then we can actually relocate it around the screen. Thank you very much for watching this demonstration if you have any more interest or in help in doing this then please make contact with us. Thank you.